Hello guys, so I am back. This is my December's empties, um, candle empties rather, and I have a huge Bath and Body Works bag, and then I have some down here that I don't, that won't fit in the bag rather. Okay, so the first thing that I have, and I didn't think I was going to burn this much because whenever I first started burning, like the first of this month, I was burning like the big candles and it seemed like it took me forever to get them burned, but anyways. The first thing that I have, this is by the Dollar Tree, and again, I'm not picky on my candles. I just purchase whatever kinds. Um, I like trying all sorts of things. I don't like having one particular brand of candle to buy. That's just how I am. So I have a, a variety of different kinds. The first thing, this is the Air Fresh Peppermint um, Cocoa, and this is by the Dollar Tree. And this candle here, it burnt really good, and it actually had a pretty good throw to it, considering for a dollar. Compared to this, it really had a real sweet coffee smell to it, so I like this for one dollar. So I, I will be repurchasing purchasing this. Now, um, compared to this other Dollar Tree candle, this one here is the um, peppermint. This candle to me. It didn't have that much of a scent throw. It had more of a vanilla scent. And I didn't like it at all. It was a... Uh, I burnt this in my kitchen. Uh, I've got a, another one of these, but it's not in the mason jar. It's just in the round candle. But I, I don't think I will repurchase any of these. Because that one what, wasn't good. Um, the next thing that I have... The, these are just going to be in no particular order. These are the Glades, Glade Shimmering spruces i can't talk today uh i like these really good these do awesome i actually have two of them one's the old pack packaging and one's the new one so i burnt those um the next thing that i have this is by febreze and again i never have any trouble with febreze candles this is the morning herbs and mist and i actually like that candle i burnt this one in my kitchen uh, the next one that I have, this is Bath and Body Works Snow Day. At first, I liked this candle. Um, it had more of a, a hint of peppermint, but like the first half of the candle, it had a good scent throw. The second, you know, the second part, like it was a very light scent. So I don't think I'll repurchase the Snow Days again. So that's just my input on that. Um, the next candle, oh my god. Okay, this candle here I got at the Goodwill, right? And it was only like maybe $2 and it was a brand new candle. And it is a, this is funny. It's a white jasmine sandbox or something like that. But anyways, me and my husband had lit this up and we were playing cards. And he got allergic to this candle. Like he started... <laughs> His face was like really red and he couldn't breathe and stuff. So I'm like, well, whenever he's gone, I won't be burning this. So I had this candle off for like a long time and I just had it like out like on the, um, on my cabinet or whatnot. I finally re-burned re it and it done me the same very way. I'm like, dude, this candle's got to go. But yeah, I will never, I don't even know where this candle came from. It was brand new. It came in the box. I will never, ever repurchase this if I ever see it again. Because it was awful. Extremely awful. The next thing that I have is this um, Fresh Cut Frasier by Better Homes and Garden. Crap. And I really like this candle. It burnt really well. And it had a really good scent to it. Some of these this month that I burnt had, a, like, had no scent at all. Which sucked. But this is a good one. Um, the next one that I have is Boston Cedar, and again, I love that scent. Had no trouble with this. I only paid two dollars for this candle at the Goodwill, and it was brand new, like back in the summer, I think it was. Um, <clears throat> the next scent, okay, I had this burning in my kitchen. At first, it was okay. This freaking candle took like a week or two to burn. I'm like, this wax. I mean, like, if you're looking for something, just for light or something, I guess you would say. G go for these purely home candles, and you get these um, big lots. I only paid two fifty for this, but 
After a while, that sweet scent made me sick. I'm like, dude, hurry up and burn. This candle, uh-uh. I will never repurchase the sugar plum plums again. Um, crap, hope that didn't break. The next thing that I have, this festive holiday cheer by Better Homes. This candle here had a very light scent smell to it. I wouldn't repurchase this. It burnt okay, I guess, but no. This was a dud for me. Um, I have one of these pumpkin spice. I love those. These are really strong. I have a scented uh, frosty peppermint wax cubes. This had no smell at all. Like nothing. So I've got one burning now, but I used the last of it, but I won't repurchase that. This pine cones and lime. I love this. This had a really strong smell to it. So, with better homes, it's like, it's either good or it's not. You just have to, you know, wade the waters, I guess you would say. Uh, the next thing that I have is the Scarlet Amaryllis Flower. I love this scent. It was a very different smell, but I liked it. It kind of, to me, the smell kind of tasted like, um, tasted. The, the smell tasted like, or smelt like candy to me. That's what I'm trying to get out. So, that's what that reminded me of. And I probably will repurchase this if there's any more left. And this thing here, this was the um, the Glade plug-in warmer thing. This was the Hayride. And look at this. I have stuff on my nose. This thing smelled strong. Like it smelt my whole living room up, even into my dining room. I mean, it was amazing. And I love this. Um, the next candle that I have, let's see, what was this one by? I think this was an Airwick, like an apple cinnamon or something. This was a light scent. I don't really like these, but I got them real cheap a while back, so I burn them. But I probably won't repurchase these unless, you know, they're cheap. Yeah, I think I'm cheap. Everything I everything that I have is either with coupons or something like that, even with Bath & Body Works. Um, but you can't go wrong with cheap, huh, if you can save deals, save your money. The next thing that I have... This is the Glade. I love this one. This is the Apple Cinnamon Cheer. These are my all-time favorite candles. The Glades, they burn perfectly and they smell strong. I love Glade, can Glade candles. Um, the next thing that I have is this Spice Pumpkin Pie. I'll, oh my God, I love this one. Very strong, uh, strong scent throw to that. I can't talk for some reason today. All my words are jumbled up. The next thing that I have, and I this was a pleasant smell. I had this in my kitchen. This is the Alaskan Springtime. I like scents that, that it's like a, um, I don't know, I can't explain it. I don't like the really sweet candle smells. I like the fragrance, like, you know. Oh my God, I love it. I'm not really good at describing stuff. But hopefully you can... The next thing that I burnt was the Merry Maple Morning. This candle was okay. I think the sweetness to the candle made it, I don't know, made, made me not like it. I wouldn't repurchase this one again. If you like sweet smelling stuff, then it would be good. Uh, the, the next thing that I have, this was by an Avon, uh, by Avon. And I thought the candle was actually bigger. It was like $5 and something for this tiny little candle. It was okay. This was red velvet. I had it burning in my bedroom, but I wouldn't repurchase that again. The next thing that I have is a uh, cinnamon roll. And again, this candle. This is, I think I got this at Walmart. I wouldn't repurchase that either. It didn't have hardly no smell to it at all. And then last but not least, I think this month, this candle was my favorite candle. And it took forever to burn, but it's a huge candle. You can get these at Walmart for like 11 or $12. And this is the apple currant. And oh my God, it smelled like fresh picked apples. So y'all should, all of the candle lovers out there that's addicted to candles like me, y'all need to try this. Um, it's by Home Collection Febreze Apple Current. So that's what it looks like. And it burned completely down. I loved it. And even my husband liked this candle. So, um, 
I'm going to save this. I'm going to clean it out. And I don't know what I'm going to put in it yet. Maybe like, I don't know. This would actually be cute for a little vase or I don't know what I'll do with it. Maybe put some nail polishes in it or a lip glosses or something like that. But anyways, that is my uh, December empties of candles. Thanks for watching.